John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. We're in Nazareth, PA at the Martin Museum. And Jason, what do you have here? Uh, this is Grandpa, Kurt Cobain's 1953 D18. Wow. Yeah, so pretty interesting story behind the guitar. Uh, Kurt met Mary Lou Lord, who was a musician in Boston. And this was right around the time Nirvana's Nevermind album came out. And, you know, they hit it off. She saw that he didn't have a lot of money. This was her D18. They both loved it, nicknamed it Grandpa because it was uh, old and beat up. And uh, so she gave it to him to use on the tour. So he owned it for uh, a couple of years, used it on that tour to support Nevermind. We all know Nirvana blows up, becomes this huge band, changes the landscape of music. Uh, and Kurt, you know, he loved this guitar. He used it for a while, but uh, I guess eventually he gave it back to Mary Lou. Uh, then she met Elliot Smith and then gave him the guitar, so he played it for a while also. So, it, you know, really special connection to two amazing musicians. Yeah. But, I mean, as you can see, the guitar was heavily played, both by a right-handed guitarist and a left-handed guitarist, because yeah. you have all this wear here from a righty, all this wear up here from Kurt, probably. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the back, all that buckle rash, and uh, it's definitely, you know, old and beat up, but, I mean, it's an amazing guitar, amazing story. You don't come across instruments like this too often. Right. You wonder what songs came out of that guitar. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to know what Kurt Cobain wrote on it, you know, everything he played on it. Uh, I mean, after he gave this guitar back to Mary Lou, then he bought the D18E that he used on MTV Unplugged. Sure. So, you know, we think this guitar was his inspiration to buy another D18. Yeah. Well, what a great bit of history. Uh, I want to play it a little bit. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> 